Hey everyone, one of the key things that is going to be guiding this course as we move through it are the three different kinds of knowledge you're going to need in order to become a good lecturer in a TVET context. We're going to call this the HIT model. The H stands for know how, the I stands for know it, and the T stands for know that. And we're going to demonstrate it hopefully through this delicious samosa which I have with me, and we're going to take ourselves through it. And we're going to start off, and you can see it happening over here, you can see it being drawn over here, you can see that there's an it dimension at the bottom. And what that really means, knowing it, means you actually know what the thing is by tasting it, smelling it. Mm. Mm. It's a delicious potato samosa. Mm. It's got all sorts of curry flavors. Mm. It's crunchy and absolutely delicious. Now, as a TVET lecturer for your students, you have to make sure that they actually know it. They know the thing which they are working with through some kind of experiential relation. Because there's nothing worse than trying to do something when you have no clue what it is that you're doing. If you're in tourism, for example, and you have to work with certain countries, it really helps that they know what those countries are like and what the hotels are like that they're going to. If you're, in, uh, if you're doing cooking, you have to hope that the people actually know what it is that they're making. If they don't have some kind of taste or some kind of sense of what it's about, they're really going to struggle to actually do it. So knowledge by acquaintance, actually knowing what it is that you're working with, is absolutely vital. So that's the first kind of uh, uh, teacher knowledge or lecturer knowledge that we're working with. But now what I want to do is I want to just move that to one side and let's just walk across. And what we're going to get now is we're going to get this second kind of uh, key forms of lecture knowledge that you need. And that kind of knowledge is knowing how. And knowing how has to do with the fact that you actually can make the thing which you're talking about. You can actually make the samosa. You can do it. And the way you've learned to do it is by watching your grandma in the kitchen making this with a secret set of recipes which you won't tell anyone because it's a family secret. And what happens is you learn by being in the kitchen with her and seeing what she's doing. You observe and imitate what she's doing. And when she's done that, you slowly but surely become the person who can do it as well. So you know how to actually make the samosa. And it's really important knowledge to have in the lecturing dimension because we're mostly working in the TBIT sector with a set of skills which you need to know how to do. So that's the second form of uh, teacher and lecture knowledge that we're talking about. But now let's kind of move this along a bit. <coughs> And let's move to the third kind of knowledge uh, which we need. And over here you can see it coming up. And you can see that what we're talking about is we're talking about knowing that. Now by knowing that what we mean is you actually know the steps that you have to follow, the formal steps that you have to follow to actually do something or make something. In this case, a recipe for making the samosa. So you know that in order to make the samosa, you have to follow a certain set of steps in the recipe. And as long as you follow those steps, you'll produce some kind of a samosa. Now that's called knowing that. It's the knowledge and the base that you, the knowledge base that you need in order to do something. It's a key form of knowledge and often we call it the curriculum that we follow within the TVET context. Now what I want to try and point out is that what we need is we actually need a situation where we're working with all three. So we can produce this fine samosa over here. Mm. In a way, where number one, I know what it is. I know what a good samosa is because I've tasted it. Number two, I can actually make the samosa. I can do the skill that's required to make the samosa. Mm. Number three, I know what the recipe is to make the samosa, and I know what the variations are to make the samosa, and I know how in different contexts and in different places you can actually produce something which is wonderful and worthwhile. And to do that, you need to know it, you need to know how, and you need to know that. And those three forms of knowledge form the key core 
to how we're going to actually teach you to become an excellent TVET lecturer, the HIT model.